This is the map of Kariaku. Okay, put my oranges there. Do it. Good, 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 good. Okay, we are, where are we? We are right here on the map. This is Sandy Island. We are going to go to the beach over here. No, to the beach over here, which is Paradise Beach. Right? Yeah. Paradise, Paradise Beach. beach. Club. <laughs> we're going there. Okay. And then uh, we're going to try to put the dinghy on the beach so that we can, because today our goal is to go here. Um, we have to take buses to go there. So we're going to put the dinghy on the beach here. Hopefully they're going to let us do that. Or we can drag it up with your broken toe. Uh, yeah. And uh, we also have to drop a bag of garbage off. Someone's going to be nice enough to let us put it in their dump. And then uh, we're going to grab the bus and it's going to take us to town. And once, where is Hillsborough? Hillsborough is over here somewhere. Once we get to Hillsborough, we got to take another bus to get there. So it's yep. going to be a fun exploring day today. And, and why are we going there? Because in Windward is where it is. Um, Boat building. Uh, yeah, it's well known for traditional, like, traditional yeah. um, Grenadian boat building. And I've read on Facebook, someone is building one right now. Let's it's go. not like a company or one shop that's doing this. It's like everybody just goes and builds their boat right there their on own, the beach. Yeah, their own boats. Right, they build their own boats. So out of wood. Out of wood, out of wood, wood. exactly. So somebody is building a boat right now, and so we're going to go and talk to him and ask him questions and stuff. So that'll yeah. be fun. We're going to go explore. Got a broken toe, but I can take the bus. Oh, she's tough. You're tough. So let's go. We are Chantal and Gary, and this is our home, Maracuja, a Benetou 423. Two years ago, we retired early to live our dream. We left our land home in Florida and sailed the Caribbean South to see new horizons. This season three and during the COVID pandemic, we find ourselves in Grenada, the Spice Island. So click the subscribe button and follow our journey. The corn on the cob? Right. Yeah, the corn on the cob. Okay. You know, it's had to be ground, right. grind it. Okay. And then they make it into like uh, what we call cornmeal. Okay. So then they use that and they mix it up and oh lord. <laughs> That's okay. So what we're saying that when they mix it up, uh -huh. and then they, you know, like beat it up, got real, they get it soft, and then they would put it like in a bowl and roll it. Uh huh. So it comes like rounded. So oh. you have roll cuckoo. Oh, oh shoot. Close the windows. Close this window. There we go. All right. Okay, we Thank close you. all the windows. Okay, we got it. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It's a high mountain on Carrier Cuckoo. So they roll the cuckoo. Uh huh. And then they do, they do the same thing with the rice. They would roll the rice. So okay. Put it soft and roll the rice. So then you get like two roll cuckoo, two roll rice, some peas. Uh huh. Put the, they will cook the peas, dry peas, cook it, so you get cuckoo, rice, peas, uh -huh. together with whatever the meat, sometimes chicken, but, and the chicken has to be more like yard fork, okay? When we say yard, it's like the locally grown fork. Okay. All right, so we have those, and that's what we call a national dish. Ah, we're gonna have to try that. Yeah, you should. Yeah. It's not bad. The local dish of Karyaku, definitely. <laughs> We love doing stuff like that, trying new things. So this is one of the boats that they're building over here. It's actually really big. Yeah. That's a big boat. Unfortunately, the builder was not working on his boat that day. So we just walked around like and admired the work. Plug up all the holes. The stringers. There's a bulkhead. Maybe I'll get a 
you gotta bend the boards to curve around the hull. <laughs> Dominique is to the right and Petit Saint-Vincent is to the left. So Petit uh, Saint-Vincent belongs to the uh, Saint-Vincent. Where Petit Martinique and Petit Dominique belong to Carrier. Oh, cool. Pretty big, huh? Yeah, it's a big boat. Bad news. We were so interested in the boat, we jumped out of the bus and I left my backpack in there with all my stuff. Uh, Sunglasses, my keys, my water, my money. Oh. Yeah, his wallet's in the backpack. Thankfully, Kariaku is a small island and everyone knows each other. We hailed another taxi driver who called Abu, who was kind enough to return with the backpack 45 minutes later. Phew! Crisis averted. He was a nice guy. Machinal tree. Very poisonous. <laughs> and don't stand under the tree when it's raining as the water from the tree may cause blistering. Oh, yeah. Our son Eric actually was told to eat one of those fruits when he was little. And uh, it was very, very bad. And he ended up going to the doctor, those fruits. He thought they were, t they told him it was an apple. It was not an apple. He had to get an anti-poisoning uh, medicine. Windward, that's the name of the town, right? Apparently there was a colony of Scottish people that came here. So they left a lot of their buildings here, the, the, the style of the building and the family, the names. So you see a lot of uh, Scottish name in this, on this side of the island. And also the people are very light skinned. The ones that are from this, from Windward. Very, very light skin. McQuilkin and then McLaurin's back there. A lot of McLaurin's. You see the architecture, the things around the windows, the frame. Look at this cute little thing. It still has some uh, lace on the windows. Old, old, old. That's a different dog that we saw earlier, he right? He was smaller. Food. Yeah, I know. That house is so pretty, I have to film it. Look at that, how cute that is. Little gingerbread, little patio. Too adorable. There's Chantel going into the kayak. <laughs> Deja vu from five years ago. With Matthew last time, right? Yeah, we were here with Matthew. <laughs> to send pictures to Matthew. Yeah. Pretty cool. I love the colors of the buildings. Look at the coconuts. That's a lot of coconuts. Yeah. <laughs> this might be a little bar. It's open. Sweet sailing, huh? Yeah, can you do this for like a few days? Oh yeah, no problem. But with those conditions, I could sail like this for three days. Let's go to Guadalupe. We'll be there in about two days. I think 48 hours or so. Nice. 
not sure about that. But man, we could do this for three days if that's the conditions. Oh Lord, that's wonderful. We've done it before though. <laughs> I don't remember you that. Your, you got your booze? I got my booze. Yeah, I got you. the pliers, I got the... Later that evening, we had a delicious mahi dinner with friends on the beach. What a great way to end a beautiful day. He's dragging between the uh, orange red boat and the catamaran. Thank you, over. I hope you'll join us in the next episode because we encounter very strong winds in St. George Grenada. A sailboat dragged and barely missed four boats, including ours. Then later, the engine water pump goes out and Gary explains what he did to fix it. We hope you enjoyed this video, so subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. You'll make us so happy.